Vaughan, a 3-2 victory over Pontefract Collieries. Uh, firstly, what were your thoughts on the performance? I think it's a massive win, massive three points on the board, but a difficult side. Compete and was strong, good in air, make it difficult to get it down and play, but I thought we battled well and got the win. Obviously you spent the, the first bit of the game on the bench, what did you make um, of the actual contest before you came on? I thought the first 20 minutes I don't think we were tight enough on their midfield too and they were just hooking it on. And when Paz pulled me he just, just said get tight and Mech runs in behind and I've done that and got, got my goals. How, uh, how did it feel coming on with a sort of a little bit of fire in your belly obviously being against your former club? I'm my way, I were always eager to get involved and be involved and I was buzzing. I always good at them, my sort of games and they enjoy them. Good battle. And, and when you came on, what, what sort of feeling in, in you? <laughs> to be fair, I put in family group chat. I, felt I had a goal in me today and I felt it in my bones and luckily I've got two. So I, I had a good feeling this morning and I've come and scored. So. Obviously, you got quite a, a nice reception when you came on. Uh, it wasn't really nice once you you'd put the ball in the back of the net. But uh, what we sort of just take us through that little bit of moment there. Special, really. T I think most of it was my family, to be fair, <laughs> and my mates. But um, buzzing. And so, uh, just l looking at the actual goal, what a ball from Wedgeborough. I know. I think if Regan were it right back, I wouldn't have got that sort of ball. <laughs> But uh, it's a great ball in and stretched and I thought it were over to be fair but it's gone in real foot net. And obviously to get score at that time when the game was really on a knife yeah. edge and arguably Ponty were probably um, edging it a little bit, um, how important was the, the sort of timing of the ball? I thought that goal settled us down a bit and then it gave us a chance to regroup at half time and settle down and came out and I think we dominated the second half really. And it could have been out of sight with Hardy but chances miss and we regrouped again and they scored and we went again. We never looked like conceding really, only from throw-ins which were always hard to deal with. How much does that come down to the, the character of the side? I think it's massive. I think every man put the body on the line and wanted to win every ball and I thought we did superb defending it. It's not easy. But. Let's take a look at that, that second goal. Obviously a great one-two between you and Husey yeah. and then what a finish. It's a great link up and I didn't think you were playing it to be fair and it's coming down I've caught it sweet and it's gone in really. Should have had that trick but from Wedge. I still think about that tonight. You said to us on, on Wednesday night you wanted to add more goals, uh, yeah. what a perfect response for you. I know, yeah. I've scored two today then and luckily I miss next week through suspension which I'm gutted about. But I want to keep adding, keep scoring, keep getting my three points and keep moving mate. How are you feeling as an individual at the minute? <laughs> if you'd asked me that before it came, I wouldn't have been happy, but now I've scored two, I'm absolutely delighted and I feel good in myself, I feel fit and the group's special, so hopefully we can keep, keep continuing the winning form and we'll see. Obviously you was also voted the, the man of the match by the sponsors, uh, how would you assess your own performance today? I thought today I played really well, got on the ball, forced a couple, which I shouldn't have really, but that's football. You, if I didn't make mistakes, I wouldn't be playing at this level, so I'm still learning, still trying to do the best I can. I enjoy playing. And as you know, when you take a look at around uh, the, the players around you, sort of the wedge brace and yeah. the hawkages, how much are you learning from them? They make it a lot easier, mate. Wedge's talking is unbelievable, his passing and just constantly talking to you off the pitch as well and helping me through that. Tez is just absolutely class on the ball and makes it easy for you to go and attack and he can just pick, pick you out. After a five week period where we played Saturday, Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, in last week's case, how does it feel to have a, a week off now? It's massive really, the gaffer just said we're going to go for some food on one of, one of the days next week and I'm training off so we'll still be in and around each other and get getting on with each other which is massive and I think I think we need to recharge a little bit all of us and keep kicking on and we've got a big December now coming up so started off well we need to keep it up. Did you feel like maybe the tiredness got, got up to you a little bit uh, considering the last maybe three performances? I think we've had three difficult games and all been battles and scraps we've had two away games which were very difficult and today we know what to expect with Ponty and I thought we've dealt with it well. I think first 20 minutes, as soon as 
after that we're out of way, I think we dominated the game really and well, bang on. Going into uh, concept away now, um, obviously you're missing, um, but what are your thoughts going into to that one? We're going in with full confidence and no reason not to be, we beat them here at our place so we need to take the same mentality, the attitude and the standards there and just keep continuing and digging in. If it's scrappy win, we we'll can do the dirty side as well, but if we need to play, we can play, so we can mix this game up, but we'll see. How important is it having sort of that both sides to uh, to your side? It's massive, it's especially in this league, you've got to do the dirty work or if not you'll just get bullied or but we're the side who can mix it up and do both and we're happy.